forecast calls for snowfall. It's Steve O'Brown, and in today's Entertainment City, we're taking a look at season two of the crack drama that's set in the 80s, but timely as ever. I've been growing a business. I want to be careful about who know the recipe. The sophomore season of Snowfall continues the fascinating story of the rise of the crack cocaine epidemic and its huge impact on culture. It's now 1984 in Los Angeles, and the young street entrepreneur from season one, Franklin Saint, is starting to experience the perils of success as he and his friends continue to use crack to reach their goals of money, power, and influence, despite the dangers involved. I think that's the tragedy of our show because particularly with someone like Franklin Saint. He's a young, sweet kid. He's boyish. So you instantly like him, you know. And then you feel bad because you're like, I really want him to sell that cocaine. I really want him to sell that crack. And despite its retro setting, there's a very real timeliness to the story Snowfall is telling. I think it speaks closely to a lot of things that are happening today, you know, particularly with the opioid crisis, which is going on right now, which is seen as a health crisis, you know. If the crack cocaine epidemic was approached the same way opioids are, maybe it would have been a different outcome. The opioid crisis, you know, before that there was crack, and before crack it was heroin, you know. So these things, kind of, I think, comes in cycles and waves in terms of each generation. The story's still very, very relevant. I think it's just important to not shy away from the truth, you know, regardless of how it's going to make you feel, especially in a time of, you know, in political worlds that we're in currently, you know, just to understand that sometimes it's just, it's better to arm yourself with knowledge than, you know, to be ignorant about what's, what's real and what isn't. For now, we keep the cooking up family. I'll figure out how to move.